Now, some people have been complaining about problems with the focus on the cameras on Phantom 3 drones. And um, I personally ran into this issue on my Phantom 3 4K. The focus wasn't right 100%. As you can see on the sample picture here, the left side and the middle-ish of the picture are quite fine, but the right side is completely out of focus, very blurry. And, um, well, I tried my best to make a tutorial on how to fix all this. Now, to start taking apart the camera, you do have to remove four T6 Torx screws from the back. Now, when you're doing this for the first time, um, the back plate may be a bit stuck to the um, camera, but if you can't just take it out by uh, with your fingers, you can pry it open with very little force from this little hole in the back. Now the reason why I may be a bit stuck to the camera is because this is a thermal pad and it kind of um, adheres to the components that it is cooling on the circuit board. Now when you get the back plate off, you will see a circuit board uh, which is held on by four black screws. So just go ahead and take them off, but be very careful not to strip the heads. Now, when you've loosened the screws, you can actually see that the circuit board can move a bit side to side here. And now this is the way that you can adjust the circuit board. Some people um, have had success um, fixing uh, focusing problems um, just by kind of prying this to one side or just recentering it and then tying down the screws. Now, this step will be long and tedious. You will just have to um, try to play with it and I'll see if it helps, etc. But the rule of thumb is if you're for example, left side is in focus and your right side is not. Um, move the circuit board to the left and so on. Now, if just moving the circuit board alone doesn't help, you'll have to go a bit further. This is what I have to do. And you will have to continue taking apart the camera. Now, when you've got all the screws off, the circuit board will just come off. Now, be very careful because this circuit board actually does house the sensor of the camera, which is, well, the camera. So it is right this here and be extremely careful not to do anything to that. Now, the next step is to take off the lens. And those are all the screws that are holding in the lens itself. Now, on the other side of the camera, let's just put this in to safety there. You will have um, this little black cover thingy. And um, from the factory, it is kind of glued in. So. It came off pretty easily just by prying it off with, I used this exact screwdriver to just pry it off. And now that I have taken it off already, it comes off very easily. And I'm um, here, you can just see the lens. And to take out the lens from the camera, you just need to push it out from this side. Now, there's a slight problem with that, which is the fact that you can probably see here that there is some remnants of glue because this lens is glued in to the body from the factory. Now, you just have to push it quite hard to get the lens out and it may feel a bit uncomfortable at first. Um, I know I did feel a bit uncomfortable with doing it but eventually I just kept pushing and it, it did come out. Now, heating the glue up or um, breaking the glue with something beforehand, um, it may make it easier for you. Now, 
the lens will just come out. And here we have well, the whole camera, the lens and the sensor. Now the lens is a bit of an interesting fella. Now, as you can see, I can rotate the lens like I should be able to. And this is how you actually focus the lens, like any manual lens on, for example, a DSLR. But when you first get this out, you will not be able to do this because it will be glued in at the stem right here. And you will have to break the glue. Again, this will feel probably a bit uncomfortable. And as you can see, it kind of left some marks on my, uh, my lens uh, shell here. But what I did is I just put this um, base in in a vise, and I took I took a pair of pliers and just uh, twisted. But remember to do it counterclockwise because that's how you actually unscrew the lens. Don't tighten it. Uh, but just twist it counterclockwise, and that should um at some point break the glue and then you should be here where I am, being able to actually rotate the lens. Right, and the next step is just put the camera back together. Now, actually adjusting the camera lens after you've put it back together, it just involves gripping the outer edge here, come on, and twisting right here. And pretty much the only way to do that is with pliers. Uh, I recommend needle nose. Uh, these are a bit too big, but we'll do for now. Just uh, grip the sides here and twist. <laughs> 